Hello and welcome uh, to my monthly video update on this beautiful winter day uh, here in January of 2023. Just want to start off by saying uh, really a warm and heartfelt thank you. Uh, this past weekend we had a pretty significant winter storm uh, and it was our public works department and our staff out there plowing those streets and clearing them so that we could travel around safely. Uh, we've had a couple severe winter events over the last couple months and they're the ones that get out there and do the hard work uh, day and night to clear those streets for us. Um, so just want to say thank you to them. Thank you to you uh, for getting out there as well and getting those sidewalks cleared. I know I was out both Saturday and Sunday making sure my sidewalk was cleared. Uh, and it really takes all of us to make sure that we get through these cold days and wintry days together. Uh, I'm gonna hit on just a couple updates for this month. Uh, one is that we are preparing to replace over 2,000 more lead lines. Uh, so this is the line that is out in the street, a water line that connects into people's homes. Uh, we are working on getting through and replacing 100% of those lines throughout the city. We actually started it a couple years ago. Really grateful to receive state funding to help us do that as well as federal funding. Uh, so we released a whole list of streets that we'll be working on and, and addresses. So if you're curious about that, please go to the city website, take a look. But if you are one of those homes that still has a lead line, you should have received a notice in the mail from the city. If you have any questions, please give us a call. We're really excited though to get that project done and get all of those lead lines replaced. With that being said, I wanna be really clear. Uh, the vast majority of children who test positive for lead in our city, they are not being poisoned by lead in the water or the lead lines. Uh, the culprit is, at least in our city, uh, lead paint. So homes that were built before 1978 that still have lead paint or maybe some, uh, you know, three or four layers down lead paint uh, and lead around the windowsills and the window goes up and down, lead dust is created from that old paint. That's really where the vast majority of children in our community are being poisoned. So that is also a priority. Uh, I wanna make sure that it's very clear that it's not that one is more important than the other, they're both important, uh, but we know that children are being poisoned by lead and paint. So one thing we're doing here at the city, we do have millions of dollars every year that we allocate for lead remediation where we go in and, and help homes remediate that lead. It's an expensive uh, process. Uh, we're also looking at updating our rental inspection program to include lead testing so that we know uh, we know what homes there's a risk and then we can help that property owner clean that, that lead up uh, and make sure that children aren't exposed to lead. So we are, we are working on both. Uh, we're allocating millions of dollars to, to both. Uh, if you have any questions about either lead lines or lead paint, please contact the city. You can call us at 311. Couple other updates. Uh, last week I had the real honor to join our representative, Re Representative Christian Grant, in Lansing for the State of the State Address. Uh, some really exciting proposals coming out of Lansing. Uh, the next day, uh, the state, uh, they supported a $1.1 billion supplemental. I personally am really excited to see, see some of the funds in that supplemental. Two that are, are important to us that I was actually in Lansing at actively advocating for. That was funding for affordable housing uh, to the tune of $150 million for low income housing and then also $100 million for affordable housing or missing middle housing. So I just want to say thank you to our West Michigan delegation who supported that along with the governor's office. Uh, we need to get those dollars out the door and into our communities as quickly as possible. And then speaking of housing and thinking about our city and the growth of our city, uh, we are moving forward with updating our master plan. This is a very important process. We haven't done it in over 20 years as we look at the future of our city, land use especially, and how we grow as a city. This process is absolutely essential. Uh, next month in February, we have three community engagement processes that will be kicking off on February 21st, 22nd, and 23rd from five to seven, one in each neighborhood, uh, in each ward, I should say. Uh, so I encourage you to take a look at those and get out and join us to have your voice heard. With that, uh, I hope you're staying safe and warm out there uh, and that you are enjoying this beautiful winter season.